Newcastle, where in Nottingham we can't stop, we won't stop. Nottingham, how you doing? Yeah! Alright, yeah. oh, we're going to the, the third battle of the evening. MC on my left, introduce yourself. Big Sardis, baby! So then, MC on my right, introduce yourself. Bust out, baby! So then, Big Twins is going in, don't flop, let's go! Yo! No, I'm not going to kickstart this battle by calling you fat. Because truth is, we've shared enough takeaways together, so we won't talk about that. <laughs> if we talk about rap and the amount of bars I brought to the clash, I'm going all out attack. Never forget who it is that taught you to rap. Before me, his bars were boring and whack. So let's see how you can perform today without having your boy at your back. And judges, please take note of his bar count now that you can all take most of my bars out. We're only in the first round, so I'm not going to go in too deep because already I can tell that the shit I've got is alarming him. So I'll kickstart this battle by straight out barring him. You see, this right is skill, Cypress Hill, insane in the membrane. The difference is my bars always smoke my targets, and that's why I call it my peng aim. Oh! So I think it's about time that Sartre's ought to give him his marching orders, punch his spring out of nowhere like it's marching organs. My mind it makes thoughts that make fire escape water. Entire brain morphs into a higher state, sort of like the Hawaii state border. And I stay off the rails like a retired skateboarder. <laughs> I'll, drop you. I'll drop you in a lost abyss. Watch my lips, nothing but toxic spits. Found the best tactic and adopted it like foster kids. This shit is a chess move. I hope that you're equipped with your best. You'll get kicked in the head soon. Cause I'm about to show bouncy round houses and we ain't talking about the kitchen and bedroom. <laughs> He beat O'Shea and thought that he'd be top tier in a minute. Then he started singing and dancing his way through battles like he was clearly a big hit. Now my theory on this shit is he's weird and admits it. On some nearly a whiz kid career but he missed it. Now he's nearly a misfit, clearly a dipshit. And if he's not careful, big starters will appear in his kitchen and smear my fucking beard in his biscuits. <laughs> First round will just be showing you all. The first round will just be showing you all how advanced I am when it comes to the verses I spit. But wait for that second round. I'm gonna start getting into some personal shit. <laughs> Yo, we ready, not in there? Yeah. First of all, this geek's a dog. Ironic, he's wearing a Bart Simpson T-shirt. The fat bastard would even eat my shorts. <laughs> Bars, you lost sloth. We're in Nottingham and I've got to knock you out like I was Carl the Cobra Frost. <laughs> yeah. I know, I know he's been waiting this battle for time. That's why I never trust this faker. What's the jump from out my shadow will leave me a dust and vapor. Jealous I'm a legend and he's nothing but a fucking waster. Oh. Hey, why is the battle in Manning? I said no, I'll bust him later. Could I kill my brother? No. Not just for a favour, but time changed me not, so it's time for you to meet your maker. I'm able to tame my brother, I'm the fucking Undertaker. Yeah. Yeah. So we know each other, we drink together, we're mates, right? But this is war, and we're back into a corner, you know, a snake bite. So, yo, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna come in lame fight, I'm gonna bring bars to the thing, right? But there's some things we said we won't mention on stage, right? Like I said, I wouldn't mention shit about your ex-girlfriend. No. Now your ex-girlfriend, when you're gonna get it through your head, you ain't what she chosen. I just lied to your motherfucking face because promises was meant to be broke. Yeah. Yeah. Now I need you, now I need you keep, you keep running to it, but I always get knocked back. You used to be close, but now you lost that. Keep going back for the sex that you got that. Had you blind to the fact that she's a lost slap. She's out of town every week in the hot patch. Trying to get up with the freaks in your rock band. The problem is that she loves loads of cocks, man. That's why you will never end up with Roxanne. <laughs> How you expect to keep that full titty bitch when your teeth look like whole city's kid? Who are you kidding? You're not a legend with women. You beg friends for a living. It's like Bosky. Then it's a tenner till the tenth of end of day. I get a fiver off my sister that day. I get another fiver off my mate Ray. Ray? Who the fuck is Ray? No, mate, go away. 
This guy's a fanny, and I don't mean he likes snobs and cocks. I mean he's a fanny, he's literally scared of dogs and shops. <laughs> <laughs> I give a hell to this wanker, walking a staffy to fucking Asda. <laughs> I'm scared of dogs, this fool's weird. Ironically scared of dogs, he's been seeing one for two years. <laughs> Yo, I'm scared of shops. Man, scared of the shop. Like, what the fuck's gonna happen? You're gonna get killed by a rogue kind of fanta. And yo, why have you only ever got a fiver on your car? Apollo Creed motherfucker dying on this car. I'm sick and tired of this ground, just someone firing him with bars, leaving dead and buried underneath the tiles in my yard. Yeah. See, you're, you're coming against throwing this peak. Mate, I'm throwing it sweet. I'll bend your bird over and I'm throwing it deep. You think I'm low in a sneak, but I'm only your dream. At least I haven't got Ebola in my teeth. <laughs> so yeah, you've got some bars. My jokes are fatter. Go on, write some of that wordplay that you wrote for matter. Time. Oh. Bro, that's what I want, people. That's the ground. I'm off. I'm off. Princess, are, are you his girlfriend, yeah? Fucking hell. Listen, listen. Remember, 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 it's one minute rounds. We love it, you're an entertaining motherfucker, but it's one minute rounds, yeah? Right to it, let's go. You want to talk personal shit then, you wreck? Keep the noise down, please. Let the dancers do their thing. Keep the noise down. Personal then, yeah? Yeah. Let me tell you something about Bowski. <laughs> Being his mate's hard. <laughs> it gets a little bit deep at times. You'll find he's a guy you can't really read between the lines. What I'm telling you all is, he's got bipolar disorder. Every time this guy speaks his mind, within a second he goes from feeling fine into a deep decline. Always worrying about women that never speak online, and they don't want to be friends with his dick because they can sense he's a prick. But I'm your mate, Bowski, so let me help you a bit. I'll even try and this. If you want my advice, this is the most sensible tip. If you want to pull more women on plenty of fish, stop eating donna meat and start eating plenty of fish. <laughs> What well, I face isn't something that girls find attractive. For starters, he's got the chins. But well, fuck me, mate, your eyes are massive. In fact, Bowski's got such a set of googly eyes that he no longer needs a computer device. Whenever my man wants to Google a site, he just uses his eyes. <laughs> let's, let's get it, let's get real, all right? Before, before Bowski had to resort to online dating, he used to have a girl for life. That is right before he discovered curly fries. <laughs> See you, mate. He was like that bitch for time. You know what it's like when two people meet and they find a love of which they're deeply certain? Before you know it, you lose track and you can't tell the difference between a pizza, turkey or a greasy burger. The whole time you stare into her loving gaze knowing that she's not one bit in the least concerned but Bowski, you're not meant to get that comfortable that you actually eat your bird, man. <laughs> I'm glad that you mentioned Roxanne, because at least I've got a bird that you can fire your shots at, because mine didn't say bye bye when I got fat. <laughs> she noticed his waist getting bigger, then she had to skate on this wigger. He was like, he was like you make me crazy, you bitch, but babe, I'll forgive you. She said, Bowski, don't throw yourself straight through the window, and he said, I'll be fine as long as I can stay for me dinner. <laughs> truth, is, truth is, I didn't want to come here today and start spitting loads of bars about all this Ebola shit. But Bowski's so fat, he'd have no qualms eating a bowl of shit. <laughs> Yeah, I'm scared of dogs, yeah, he's the bounce dog. Well, you're scared of originality, mate, and that's why I have to beat you. And everyone knows enough of my bars have already been bitten by this prancing creature. So keep barking on about your sharp fangs and teeth, because since you're a dog, I guess you know all about biting the hand that feeds you. Oh. So, when we get, so when we get back to Manchester, I'm going to take five sips of my strong bomb, pour some gasoline in it, and light it as I jog close. Watch the bottle spinning through the air as it flies right in from a long throw through your fucking window and sets fire to the dog's home. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> 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 Call you fat. It's not like you ever had a problem emptying a dish. You got with Roxanne. You've already got plenty of fish. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a flip. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and yo. 
And you had that talking about fucking um, whatever you said, that was a bit of an end line about my bird not leaving, that was a peng line. But fuck me, mate, Roxanna's left you about ten times. <laughs> no, it's good. And let, yeah. <laughs> and no, and let's talk, let's, yo, let's talk about your hygiene and cleaning principle. You might be on my team, but you're about to get deep and personal. I mean, look at his face and features, the shit's weird. You look closely enough, you can see creatures in his beard. <laughs> and I know it's not right to diss my apprentice, but mate, when was the last time you've been to a dentist? <laughs> Fucking hell, bruv. You might push your teeth in six months. I mean, come on, what the fuck? <laughs> this fanny spits badly. He's a stupid hair, like Prince Harry. No, he's got stupid hair, like Prince Harry. <laughs> his parents are the fattest and thinnest in his family. Looking like the wrestler Big Daddy had sex with a feminine Chris Barry. <laughs> Yo, he was on EastEnders and Extras. It's Barry. Except he's got a wig now and it fits badly. <laughs> And let's be real fam, you're not even hip hop, you're in a fucking rock band. I mean that shit's just gayer than gok wag. Every club is, <laughs> every club is queen is played in lost profits. I'm that matter liquor, exit like enter that when I cock it. Leave your face deep purple, play a drum solo with your broken bones. Break this rock man down into itty little rolling stones. I call, his mom, yo, I call his mum Finn Lizzy. I give her, I call his mum Finn Lizzy. My white snake wrecking the dive. Give me that one, two, one, two like I was checking the mic. <laughs> yo, this ugly kid Joe's just a dog who's gay. Whereas I run the MCs, he can't walk this way. Yo, and his family, <laughs> yo, and his family is weird, half Irish, half Italian, it's quite diverse. I went home from a tea and I must admit, I had nerves. I didn't know whether I was on Mrs. Brown's Boys or the Dormio advert. <laughs> I be stew for every cause, while his dad's trying to show me his mama's famous marinara sauce. <laughs> now nah, I'm joking, his dad walked out on this sad clown, said he could live with a kid who had downs. Looks mad right now. The Gibson and Rocky Balboa and a spaz right now. When you step to me, I'll leave you out cold on the ground right now, and walk away like the dad you never had right now. <laughs> Big things is going, and that's your right too. Not in the very feeling you still out there. Yeah, man, I'm definitely going in. I'm just starting to round three. Let's go! <laughs> now you might. Keep it down, keep it down. Hold it down! Let me just start off by saying, shh. I recently retired from Don't Flop, and as soon as I retire, he retires. We've all seen how shit he can be on his own. Well, let's, let's not lie. You did one battle with Mr. 13, it was Joe. Do you remember that one when you were stood on stage smoking an e-cig? So rebellious, man. I'm surprised you released it. <laughs> hey, I'm the type to crush an E and a cig on some G shit. Take three hits, get another E and have to take it again. That's a reset. But Bowski oh. prefers them antidepressants. That's why his life seems odd. But I think you need a detox. Because if you're not careful, you'll die and leave all them tablets behind like Steve Jobs. Oh. And I think personally, you need to give your mum a break, mate. She's going through the change. But still there he is every day with his fingers inside her purse, going through the change. Bowsby's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> such a broke bastard, the only time he ever visits a hole in the wall is when he's going for glory with his pants down, hands round, holding his balls. <laughs> and Matthew Sharp, what a stupid name. <laughs> Sounds like something out of a fucking computer game or a movie, mate. And if Matthew Sharp's definitely not a name that describes who you are, because whether it's rhyming your bars or wearing something that's designer and smart, nobody will ever describe you as Sharp. <laughs> and just to throw it in there, do you know what else rhymes with Bowski? What? Mike Wazowski. <laughs> <laughs> Which kind of makes sense. Which kind of makes sense. It kind of makes sense because you're both wide and bouncy. <laughs> Well, I want your last thought to be this in battle rap, Bowski. You'll always be beneath me, Matt. Cheers for helping me find my house key. <laughs> <laughs> nah, truth be told, this guy, you're one of the closest mates that I've got. You're one of my closest mates. I can see me and him laughing at the same shit joke from we're both old and grey. Which is why for my last battle, there was nobody better than my partner to clash. And I'm not one of them battlers that's quitting due to any qualms with the staff. The last two years has been an honour, but for now I'm going back to guitars in a band. Never rule out a return though, because this battle shit's a part of me fam. And I'll be repping DFAFD until the day Big Starters is back. <laughs> You know who's back? 
Bowski. But I think some news chat about who's fat. What do you think I was going to do? Rap? Nah, I'm just going to kill him. Man, I'm like, you can't do that. Yo, big up, big up, man, like Tally. And this is my point exactly. It's time for me to step down now, chill and relax. So I'm going to come through, like, take no talks and try some of that gun chat. Yo, I come through with a guy. Like I'm the greatest son. <laughs> come through with that. <laughs> come through with a gun. I'm the greatest one. I'll give you nine nines. That's eighty one. <laughs> Yo. I'm like yours, a mighty son. When I go blamity blam, put that target on your chest like you're a fan of the jam. Yo, come on, that's it, man. <laughs> and yo, um, this guy's a waste, man. I put what's on my waist and aim it at your face, man. Leave you looking burnt and ridiculous like too much fake tan. I polish the dome, I'll demolish your chrome. I put red, there'll be, bled, there'll be red walls to wall like forest at home. Yo, thought that good shit, man. This guy is, yo, thought that good shit. This guy's clearly yo. retarded. With one hook, I could leave him dearly departed. Your mates told me a mad look, he ran away from a fight before it even started. <laughs> He's gonna throw a punch. Ah. That's why. That's why you can never stand with me in the moment of truth. I'm a gangster. You're nothing yeah. but a joke in the room. I can't believe I let you stand next to me like a man. I went to team with calcium. Carrying you was never a part of my plan. Cause I've been carrying dead weight like a stillborn, and you're still boring. This is a funeral, but you ain't got to feel for him. Cause <laughs> funeral, you ain't got to feel for him. So I'm gonna come back. This is how I'm bossing them. I had to come from Manny to Nottingham to fuck this guy up, and I'll freestyle the end because he's one of my boys. But I'm Shad Roxanne right now and I don't give a fuck son And I'll make sure that she loves it and screams I'm the best MC man, I've been living the dream So this is me signing out, don't fuck veteran I had some great times, I will never forget them O'Shea, Frisco, I Impact and Pamphlet Bonus side on me and first was on some mad shit But now I've got to chill back, relax and have a spliff Cause I'm a boss dog baby, I'm the best and that's it Time. <laughs> I'm going to give two rounds to Boski, one round to Big Starter, so Boski takes it. First round was definitely about Boski for me, but I feel like he flopped it towards the end, so I've got to go for Starter. Alright, so people, it's Don't Flop Nottingham, Hockley Hustle. We just had our third battle for the night. We had Starter versus Boski. Them man went in. Not in the main field, them man went in, innit? Them man definitely went in. I've got the deciding vote, it's kind of hard this one, but that man went hard. I can't lie, you're both heavy, heavy, I give you a big credit. But, I'm gonna have to go with Sartre, just because the third round, he really took it home. You know what I mean? He really took it home. But, we're on the man both team, every time, definitely vibes. Seven, one, seven, one, one more time.